In this lesson, we get to the fun part. Let's actually create the tool inside of Gibscam. Create a new part file with the proper MDD, and we're going to create a right hand turning tool on the main spindle. Let's create a new tool. Select facing towards the main spindle, turret position one, stick out length one and a half, holder length four. Since this is a right hand tool and it's in the main spindle, the insert is going to face down. Let's click this button called Tool Setup Data. Now we can click Add Tool Block and here is the library that you worked so hard to create. We are now going to select BMT 65 Turning Right Hand. That is our turning tool and you can see it here in the preview window. This tool block, remember, has two orientations. Main spindle is orientation one, sub spindle is orientation two. You can now go to preview tool group and since you have machine simulation, you can see the tool and the holder and the insert on your turret and you can see that it's pointing in the right direction. So now that we have the tool in the file, we can turn with it as normally, and Gibbscam will put it in the right place. But let's play with the tool orientation for just a moment. We're gonna switch the orientation to the subspindle side. Change orientation to two, and we have a little bit more work to do. We have to face the tool towards the right direction, and of course, since we flip the holder over, and this is a right hand tool holder, the insert has to be face up and yes, we still have a right hand holder. Let's come back to preview tool group and press redraw and the tool is now shown facing in the correct direction. You may use the preview tool group in the individual tool menu or you can go to document control, intermediate tooling, and select preview tool group from there. In the next lesson, we will show you how to create a live tool holder.